something is wrong in the land. That what happened, yes, negligence of the tanker driver, negligence of this is witchcraft. They decided to drink blood at that junction. We must say no. We must say no. They will come in through a particular door. Listen, demons don't attack until doors are opened. If you are, if you are someone who is very good in anger, they will enter through the door of anger. If you own his immorality, they will enter through the door of immorality. So until that door is shut, that is when they won't be able to enter. All the doors open to the enemies of Nigeria. God will shut the doors. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. You know, some people just go to a village and say, well, our forefathers have bought this land from you. So, we are the owner of this land. And they're saying, they are, no. And they kill 200 or something people within in a jiffy. And nothing is happening. It's not normal. Is it normal? It's not. Blood. blood. And the blood is crying. Ezekiel 99 says, Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Nigeria and Judah is exceedingly great. And the land is full of blood. Is it in that Bible? Can't you see it there, please? The land is full of, and when the land is full of blood, abominable transactions will be taking place. A child sleeping, bushard. Pregnant woman, bushard. All, all manners of things, and nothing is happening. It seems as if we don't have judiciary. It seems as if we don't have military again. It seems as if we don't have DMI. We don't have DMA. We don't have SSS. We seem, they can't even perform because the system had been tampered with in the realm of the spirit. After all, people they are they are human beings, and they but something is wrong. The land is full of blood, and the city is full of perverseness. For they say the Lord has forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. Now whom till he one say woe to the bloody city. No woe can never come to Nigeria. We must chase away woe. Now whom till he one we must reject woe. Nigeria is blessed. It is full of lies and robbery. For the prayer departed not. Listen, a few years ago, I was doing revival in, in the Lorry. I went there with some ministers. Pastor Sari Ayodele was among the team. In the night, the Lord revealed to me the issue of Boko Haram. It has not started that time. And I described to them, I saw some people, I described them. They invaded Nigeria. And they invaded Nigeria for a long time. And I said, I said, who are these people? The Lord said, we have to pray. They will break forth from the north. I sent messages to General Vasias. Only one replied. There's this unity among general overseers in Nigeria. We are not united at all. Everybody is just in his this in his empire, and now war, war, war in the realm of the spirit is happening. Until one we say no, let me join with another one. One shall chase one thousand, two shall chase ten thousand. Nothing will happen. That's why we are not making impact. I'm telling you, leaders in Nigeria, Christian leaders are not cooperating. I can say it openly. It's a challenge. We are not praying together. And it's, it's an abomination. God is crying because leaders in Nigeria, Christian leaders, are not praying together. It aches my heart. And the Lord said to me, until we pray, that they will torment us for long. I gathered the ministers, we prayed. After I slept, again, the vision continued. You were there. And I called them again. I said, this vision is repeating. I got home, I called my wife. And I said, ha, some people are coming to torment us in Nigeria until we pray. Only one person replied, and that person, we have been praying since then till now. But imagine if Christian leaders, all the general overseers, if one of our leaders with someone report in this camp for the next one month, the whole church of God must be praying on this thing. We will obey and we pray. Things will change. Let Baba Debo you summon us. We will obey. Let him say all the general overseers report in redeem camp. We will come. Baba should do that now. Now, 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 now. Because of what is happening in the realm of the spirit.